Now we have amongst us our next expert panelist, Dr. Praveen Giri. Sir has a post graduation in internal medicine, a fellowship in advanced diabetic management, and an MBA in healthcare and hospital management. Sir is the medical director of Sai Vedant Multi Speciality Hospital. He is practicing as consultant physician and diabetologist and as a senior intensivist in Meera Bayan. Let's uh, put a loud round of applause for the next one. Uh, respected principal, Shilla Prabhu ma'am, respected teachers, uh, my fellow doctors and colleagues, my dear students and respected clients. Indeed, it is one of the great day today to be conjoined education and health together. I have been with this school from last 7 to 8 years and very happy and proud to be associated always in all the occasions, not only at health, the uh, school has always been progressing and uh, advancing in the field of science, in the field of arts from last many years. I can witness so many fairs, so many mayors arranged by the school. Every year we are attending as a parents also, as a dignitaries also. And so proud moment that here we are to explaining or sharing the ties on the few subjects which are everybody knows, but little bit more breaking on that. So sharing that. So friends, I am here today to talk about the importance of holistic well-being for the children, specifically the children associated with type 1 diabetes or also known as juvenile diabetes interconnected. And that healthy child is one is thriving in all the areas. There are many things that we can do to support the holistic well-being of children. First, it is important to provide them with a safe and loving environment. This means providing them with food, shelter and clothing. We as, uh, as well love and support also. Second, we need to ensure that children have access to quality education and health care. This will help them to develop their minds and bodies and learn how to stay healthy. Finally, we need to help children to develop strong social and emotional skills. This will help them to form healthy relationship, to cope up with the stress and to make good choices. So here, we just on add on already my uh, dear sir, senior and friend Dr. Prashant sir has been elaborated very well on type 1 diabetes and type 2 also. I just been brief and short about summarize and just can ask you more things on that. For that we have a little small presentation to show you that there is a small pictures with to summarize about type 1. So why type 1 diabetes is so important? Reason? Because type 1 diabetes is normally occurs in children and adults. So on a brief, the small cause of diabetes. So diabetes is a, it's a metabolic disorder which is characterized by hyperglycemia. Diabetes is basically of two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is basically seen in children and adults and type 2 seeming uh, elderly adults also. So like if somebody has uh, diabetes, so how he or she may find out whether it is type 1 or type 2. So we have very easy available test in the market which can easily differentiate between whether it is type 1 or type 2. This test is known, known as insulin test. Just like a sugar test we do fasting and postcards there is called something like insulin test which if between 2.5 to 15 it's normal if it comes below 2.5 it's been type 1 it comes above 15 it's type 2 so we we'll continue with the junior diabetes so next slide please so this is a diagram of pancreas like small and brief sir has already spoken about the pancreas pancreas is a gland an organ and gland which has a function two function exocrine and endocrine an exocrine function where the enzymes are broken and helps to into the digestion. And the second function is endocrine, in which uh, pancreas has two cells 
we we'll understand two things to remember because we or my our family member or my neighbor or my somebody has something somewhere. So we we'll remember two things to understand to what exactly basically what diabetes type and how much. So pancreas has two cells. One is alpha cells. One is beta cells. Alpha cells produces glucagon hormones which increase blood sugar level and beta cells produce insulin which decreases your blood level so in between there is one more thing is called homeostasis or what you have to remember later i am going to give inside that the insulin formation human homeostasis basically it's a balance to keep the low average blood sugar level in your body so when glucagon increase the sugar level the insulin decreasing the sugar level the homeostasis this mechanism maintain the blood level in your body so this is the pancreas situated just below your stomach behind the back little side it is it has a uh, it has name it has head tail head neck body and tail it produces it has a islands if you say from, if you see from the above our arms can see visible in the map like there is an island Have you seen this? In our own map only, there is an island. Similarly, there is an islet inside the pancreas which produces the beta cells. Next slide. Next slide. So, uh, diabetes. Malaria is a group of metabolic disease characterized by the chronic hyperglycemia resulting from the defect in insulin production or secretion, or maybe both. So, abnormalities. Where is it exactly? It is in your food. Yeah, we have lots of carbohydrates, day-to-day, -day, you know, proteins, metabolic. They are found in diabetes due to the deficiency of action on the targeted tissue. It causes more sugar in your blood. Next slide, please. So, diabetes mellitus classified into two types: type one diabetes and type two. So, we mostly discuss today about type one diabetes. What is type one? Type one diabetes mellitus is due to the beta cell destruction, usually leading to absolute insulin deficiency. Similar, similar, small thing. Type one patient insulin production nil, and type two patient insulin are resistant. Maybe producing or not be producing to control the sugar level. So type one diabetes mostly in children are insulin dependent. That means if your child or your known person having type one diabetes, he has to be lifelong dependent upon the insulin, which is called an exogenous insulin dependency. Means uh, insulin should be given from the outside. Type two diabetes. It may range from predominantly insulin resistance with the relative insulin deficiency to predominantly secretory defect with or without insulin resistance. Mostly seen the elder age above age of 25 and go on post COVID era. Uh, me and my colleagues are all seeing lots of diabetic patients. Uh, some of the predisposing factors like viruses, environmental factors are now being seen very well. And higher amounts of the patient we are seeing in India. If we see, we see almost 80 percent of type two diabetes and uh, below 10 percent to 12 percent around type one diabetes because they, it's a very late onset of the other symptoms. Next slide, please. Uh, uh, other types of diabetes also we are seeing nowadays. It's gestational diabetes seen occurs during pregnancy. Uh, we talk later on this subject. Next slide, please. We talk about type of diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes mellitus. Previously, it known as insulin dependent diabetes mellitus because it's completely dependent on the insulin. Next slide, please. So, what is this? Uh, it is only practical factors. It has what are the causes of type of diabetes? So, most important cause, which is autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune disorder already presents uh, as elaborated daily. Then, I am just giving some small touch in that. Suppose your body is having a good cells and bad cells both. So some foreign body enters in your uh, body and harming. So your good cells have the uh, deficiency. You have defense mechanism which stops to invade them. So sometimes what happens? Some virus or some chemicals in, enter in your body which automatically start destroying these good cells, bacteria or defense mechanism. Known as autoimmune disorder, which is started destroying your beta cells, which in which available in pancreas, to started destroying all the insulin. So your beta cells not producing any insulin, 
to decrease the amount of blood sugar. Hence, your blood sugar starts flowing continues towards your all the day. There is a hyperglycemic state which is termed as a type 1 diabetes mind. Second is genetic risk factors also. If your parents or siblings or your grandparents have type 1 diabetes, there are higher chances they might your uh, your uh, grandsons, maybe your maybe your siblings have the type 1 type 2 diabetes. Third is environmental factors. Nowadays we are seeing lots of viruses uh, coming from unknown regions, chemicals, some drugs also even during like chemotherapies in childhood may produce type 1 diabetes also. Uh, pathophysiology, the insulin is responsible for the uptake, use and storage of glucose, amino acids and fat. This deficiency of insulin production decreases the glucose uptake and storage as glycogen and excessive breakdown of fat and glucose of the glycogen. Next slide. So basically, this glucogen which increases the blood sugar level is unable to stop the working phase. Hence, insulin is not producing, your cells are not producing any energy. That's how it's your you becoming exhausted, tired, and feeling very thirsty. So, what are the symptoms of type 1 diabetes mellitus? Type 1 diabetes mellitus has been de described or defined as a three P's. Remember the three P's. Polyuria. Polyuria means excessive relation. Polydipsia means excessive thirst. And polyphasia, the excessive hunger to your uh, any time you feel hungry, you see after having a good meal also. Other than that, what are the other symptoms? It has a nocturnal illnesses. Already Dr. Parap has explained and answer about the nocturnal illnesses. If your child having some symptom, uh, uh, night bedwetting, just to be sure that you should be treated with the proper pediatrician or doctor. Next is blurring of vision. Nowadays we see lots of things where we have a child that blurred vision is complaining. So we see the my little child on computer, my little child on laptop or mobile. But don't be very sure that he might be having some symptoms. Please check with the ophthalmologist. Then there is an excessive weight loss. The excessive weight loss seen on the late onset. So keep watch of their weight. If they are losing weight more than the 5 kg in a 2 to 3 months, be sure to make visit your nearby doctors. Other than that, decrease appetite. Yes, it's still hungry, but appetite are reduced, weight loss, then late onsets are like uh, narrowing of the blood vessels which seen in the cardiac. So it could cause a uh, lots of uh, cardiac involvement also, like blood pressure, cardiac problems, early uh, dyslipidemia, and later also we can see if it's untreated can harm your kidney also. So these are the symptoms. Now treatment. As I has already been explained well about the insulin intake, in between that there is a two complication which I might to explain to parents and school as well because the most type 1 diabetes patients are getting sick during the college uh, schools because of their excessive exercises and maybe their uh, poor intake of food which is a hypoglycemia. So if the patient is having a sick day, means what? हम अच्छा आईसू में आजकल देख रहे हैं कैंसर में भी एग्री में भी डायबिटी किटोसिनेसिस इस तरह वाला तो डेंजरस थिंग भी सीन मोस्टली इन एल्डरली बट टाइप वन टाइप टी स्टूडेंट और चिल्डर आल्सो वी आर सीन नाउ इस भी डायबिटी किटोसिनेसिस सो व्हाट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट इज ओनली एन वन देर इज नो योर यस बट देर इज अ केयर यस व्हाट इज द केयर केयर ऑफ गिविंग इंसुलिन ऑन टाइम चेकिंग ग्लूकोस ऑन टाइम हैविंग गुड मील one more important part of meal, I will tell the parents and the students to keep a diet intact, like what type of carbohydrates. If you have a carbohydrates counting, means like bread, rice, cereals, pasta, anything you are giving to your child, should be counted what weight of your child, how much carbohydrate to be given. To be precise, 